Good morning, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversation Dirty News. Glad you all could be with us. Well, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. It means it's a brand new opportunity. If you do this, something amazing, and it all begins today. I want to thank you guys for joining me for Conversations LA last week. Had an amazing time going back to Los Angeles this week. We're welcoming Conversations ATL. I'm excited about being able to go back to Atlanta for our celebrity interviews and Amazon features. You don't want to miss that. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Monday. I have a message from my book, Worried That Choose to Live By, and it's an entertainment spotlight. You're part of my conversation with Dr. Teresa A. Smith or Dr. Taz discussing her year and all the great things happening for her. You don't want to miss that. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Monday headlines. In national news, tornadoes wreak havoc as 15 dying storms across the U.S., says BBC News. At least 15 people have been killed as tornadoes and storms tore across central areas of the U.S., destroying homes and cutting power to hundreds of thousands. Seven people were killed in northern Texas, five in Arkansas, two in Oklahoma, and one in Kentucky. Scores more were injured, and almost 500,000 were without electricity across several states on Sunday. The sheriff of Cook County, Texas, said the death toll there included two children, aged two and five, and three members of the same family. Footage from the county showed a petrol station and rest stop almost completely destroyed with twisted metal littered over damaged vehicles. The twisters overturned lorries, shut a highway near Dallas, and left tens of thousands of people without power throughout the region. Lightning, thunder, and heavy rain, meanwhile, forced evacuation of around 125,000 spectators as Sunday's Indianapolis 500 race was delayed by four hours. By Sunday afternoon, the storm system had begun moving east, according to the National Weather Service, which warned of severe wind and hail for those in its path. Some 470,000 people were without powers in states stretching from Texas to Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky, according to the website poweroutage.us. A spokesperson for Kansas County, which includes Wichita, told CBS News, that emergency services were dealing with downed trees and power lines from a storm with about 8,000 customers without power. The latest twisters follow another powerful tornado which tore through a rural Iowa town and killed four people earlier in May. Government forecasters have also described this summer as a possibly extraordinary 2024 Atlantic hurricane season beginning next month. In more national news, FDA announces the recall of 1.9 million water bottles Due to quality issues, says AllRecipes.com. On March 4th, National Waters of VT Limited recalled 78,533 cases, or almost 1.9 million bottles of Fiji water. The voluntary recall was due to testing that found manganese and three bacteria. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration reported the recall on March 23rd under Class 3 classification. The FDA lists a Class 3 recall as a situation in which use of or exposure to a volatile product is not likely to cause adverse health consequences. According to Fiji Water, there is no risk of toxicity from the recalled water. Specifics on the other three bacteria are not available at this time, but are not known to be harmful since allrecipes.com. In more national news, Biden's message to West Point graduates, you're being asked to tackle threats like none before, he says. President Joe Biden on Saturday told graduates of the U.S. Military Academy that their class is being called upon to tackle threats across the globe and preserve the country's ideals at home like none before. Biden said the phrase, the class motto, was apt for the sort of challenges they will take as newly minted Army 2nd Lieutenant from supporting Ukraine's defense against Russia's invasion to facilitating humanitarian assistance in Gaza and defending Israel from attacks by Iran. There's never been a time in history when we've asked our military to do so many different things in so many different places around the world all at the same time, Biden said. Speaking at a sun-swept West Point, Biden reaffirmed that he will not allow American service members on the battlefield in Ukraine, but said their work to equip and train Ukrainian forces has stepped up and stopped Russian President Vladimir Putin's brazen vision for Europe. In business news, Nasdaq sets another record as Wall Street wins back earlier losses. U.S. stocks rose Friday in a bounce back from Wall Street's worst day since April, and the S&P 500 gained 37 points, or 0.7%, to 5,305, and won back all its losses from the prior two days. It eked out a tiny gain for the week, enough to extend its weekly winning streak to five, and is sitting just below its record set on Tuesday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose four points, or less than 0.1%, 
to 39,070, and then as a composite, gained 185 points, or 1.1%, 1 .1 to 16,921, and topped its all-time high set earlier last week. And finally, in entertainment news, Furiosa and Garfield lead slowest Memorial Day box office in decades as the Associated Press. Movie theaters are looking more and more like a wasteland this summer. Neither Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, or Garfield movie could save Memorial Day weekend, which is cruising towards a two-decade low. That made the top five movies over this weekend. Number one, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga with $26 million. Number two, the Garfield movie with $25 million. Number three, If with $16 million. Number four, Kingdom of the Planet of the Eighth with $13 million. And number five, The Fall Guy with $6 million. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's on time for a message from my book, Words I Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Words I Choose to Live By. By living up to your purpose for being here, you can break through the darkness and light up the world. Have an amazing Monday. We are part of my conversation coming up with Dr. Taz in today's Entertainment Spotlight. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversations Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with Entertainment Spotlight. Dr. Teresa A. Smith and Dr. Taz may join me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about her extraordinary year and all the great things happening. Here's a bit of our conversation. Well, Dr. Taz, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for having me, Cyrus. Well, look, the pleasure is definitely all mine. We always have great conversations here, Dr. Taz. So great to be able to have you back on. As I mentioned, this month, in many ways, is tailor-made for you and your brand that you've been able to build. So what has that been like for you, Taz? To kind of look at the the accolades that have come your way, what you've been able to do with books, your work as a coach, but also just in business. It has been so humbling, Cyrus. You know, um, this month has been exciting. Uh, as you know, I've, um, I've launched the second season of my uh, Transform with Taj show. I've also kicked off my uh, Talk with Taj podcast, which is another way that I am working to help individuals transform their I like to say sometimes they're thens into their nows because, you know, the work of transforming ourselves is hard work, you know. It's not easy work, and I know it better than anybody. And when you started talking about what this month was, it's really like all of those things wrapped up into one, you know, um, you know, even, and I'm going to say it a different way, you know, it's get caught reading, but we got to read ourselves. You understand what I'm saying, folks? Because yeah. that means we got to take that introspection and look at ourselves, and that's hard to do. It's Women's Health Month, but it could be Men's Health Month because we mm -hmm. look at their whole body, mind, and soul, physical, and then small business. We're a business because if we don't think of ourselves as a business, then who is? You know, I don't mean the yeah. money part of it, but all that goes into the business, we have to do that for ourselves. And then that health piece, you know, so again, for me, this month has been, when I stop and think about it, it has been a great month. And I guess we're almost done with the month, but it does sort of encapsulate everything that I, and I'm just so thrilled that I get to do it, you know? Yeah. Because it's exciting to be able to bring all of that to everybody. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'll be back to get on tomorrow's morning news. A message from my book word that you used to live by in the course of entertainment spotlight. Until then, remember how Cyrus Webb saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daily News today. Let us go make today amazing. Take care.